Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Actually, where we question if things are actually something else. Please appreciate my pun. I, I tried. Please? Someone? Oh my god, I am so lonely and no one laughs at my jokes. Anyway, we're looking at a theory I recently came up with. Are horror books actually made of nightmares? This one could get tricky, so buckle up before you get confused. I know I say this every time, but these are complicated ideas that require a lot of explanation. First, how do I define horror books? Well, we all know what books are. They're bound paper with words printed on pages. They contain knowledge and stories and have been around for centuries. Horror has been around for much longer than books, scaring the ever-loving toast out of people for as long as humans have existed. If you combine the two, you get horror books, bound paper bundles of terror and paper cuts. So now that we know what horror books are, we can move on to nightmares. Nightmares are something everyone has experienced. The cold darkness at the dead of night when a specter arrives to haunt you and torment your sleeping form until the sun rises and you are freed until the next coming of the darkness. They suck, literally everyone has had one, and they regularly scare the toast out of us as well. See a pattern? But don't worry, that's not my only evidence to answer this question with. Yeah, both scare people, but but come on! Here at Rain and Dunoctis, we use real and non-superficial evidence. Most of the time. Don't look at me like that. So how else could horror books and nightmares be related? Well, my theory is that nightmares create horror books. Literally. Yes, horror books are written by authors, but what makes these authors write? Creativity is a major part, but so are the fears that haunt these writers. Fears can be exacerbated or reinforced through nightmares, so they'll probably make it into a book if they're persistent enough. But Reyna, are you implying that nightmares are sentient? Yes. I definitely am. That is the Samhain season after all, which means my spooky energy is finally societally accepted. And I'm gonna milk it. I have evidence that nightmares are sentient and can either annoy or terrify the toast at a horror writer so badly that they are included in stories. Also, I have another theory that there is literal nightmare essence in the books. We'll get to that. As a writer and a person, I have to deal with a lot of nightmares. Most of them are pretty standard, some come from medications, and others, I'm convinced, decided to latch on to me because they're having fun tormenting me. This last category is concerning, as it provides some circumstantial evidence for nightmares being sentient. Also sleep paralysis. Yeah, scientists say that the result of your brain decided to screw you over, but what if the scientists are afraid of the nightmares too? Now that we have that established, is any horror book you get from the store bound with nightmares? Yes! To increase the spook factor, publishers in the 17th century discovered a compound that was produced by nightmares that could be harvested from the people who experienced them. This is known as Nightmare Essence, and it is still used today. It is a silver powder mixed into ink so that every word is literally scary. You can't avoid it. It's already too late. I've been Reyna Dunactis, currently perceiving the void. Like and subscribe if you want more jokes. Don't subscribe if you're afraid of the truth and sacrifice your anxiety to the anxiety gods. In my next video, I'll be advertising a cursed infinity box. I'll see you next time.